typical reader would be either the person who is a marketing professional that knows you know print ads email marketing and more traditional marketing and they're really looking to kind of break into Facebook and get started with it or take what they're doing initially which was typically not to have a plan and just get a Facebook page and start to formulate a plan so that they can get better results if a business is a business to consumer business they should no doubt be on Facebook if it's business to business that's another issue um, but it's not to say that Facebook is not a B2B environment it can be used that way uh, you know but if you're B2C you should definitely be doing something with Facebook so what are the biggest misconceptions that most marketers have about Facebook um, I would really say that a lot of marketers feel like just because someone likes the Facebook page that Facebook user will then see their content in their newsfeed from that point on almost like joining an email list that they'll continuously get the email but it's totally different if someone likes your Facebook page it does not mean they're going to receive your content in their newsfeed okay second is that uh, most Facebook users actually don't go to your Facebook page to interact with your content, right? They, they see your content passing by in the newsfeed and then it disappears eventually. Uh, and the third is that a Facebook user can comment, like, and share your content without becoming a fan, right? So that means that's a benefit because then your content has a, a greater opportunity to spread without that requirement of liking the page. So marketers should really understand these three things. I would say for a brand new marketer on Facebook, don't treat it like an email list. Don't treat it like we're just going to push our own stuff out there. It's really uh, a challenge of learning what people want to hear, trying to understand your audience and speaking to them and making your content about what they want to hear, not necessarily about what you have to sell them. Uh, Must-dos would be have a Facebook page, uh, try out Facebook ads, you know, to push um, your content out there, to promote your page a little bit more. You also have offers. There's a feature called offers on pages, so you can publish an offer, offer that will show up in the newsfeed, and then people can, uh, you know, opt into that offer. Uh, but in general, you know, for the new marketer, really start with the Facebook page and make that your home base on Facebook. There are a lot of new features that came out recently. One is uh, you can now look at each individual update that you publish and you have an opportunity to promote it. So right underneath every update there's now a promote button and for a few dollars you can push that update out to a, a wider audience. So you know marketers should definitely take advantage of that. So look at your brand and, and, and really rethink how you're presenting yourself on Facebook because a Facebook page used to be more static Whereas now, uh, there really is this timeline. So you can tell a story over time about your brand or about your cause or about the idea that your uh, organization or your company really supports.